<laughs> hey, that's Mr. Goodwin over there. You'll be editing this, won't you? Yeah, yeah. It'll be about a good minute if that. If that. <laughs> They're going to leave all the in the end of it as well. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. oh, that's <laughs> ideal, eh? <laughs> Oh, that's ideal. Yeah. I'm Shelley. Shelley, Sam. Hi, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's a yum yum. You sound like a yum yum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yum. <laughs> yeah, you yum. You yum. <laughs> someone, someone came up to me the other day and went, someone, someone asked me if I was, if I was from Block Switch. I was like, oh, where the fuck's Block Switch? <laughs> no, don't give me the mic, for God's sake. <laughs> Do some beatboxing. <laughs> Boots like cats and tickety car. My wife's from Beachdale. My wife's from Beachdale, so. Yeah, yeah, no, it will. When they start talking about where they, where they're from, it, it, it'll end in like some sort of nasty <laughs> football. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Viv and I will just stand football. here with. Yeah, yeah. Blank faces. But I don't see a lot of contempt here. Well, yeah, because they're rather yeah, cheerful. They're very contemptuous. Yeah. We always get it all out in the songs, really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that. Con in tempt, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, tempting. Yeah, it's very tempting. Yeah, prior to being miserable on stage, we're, we're generally quite happy, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we, we just change on stage and our faces go really angry and serious. Yeah. And then no, no, they're mine. Yeah. Craig wears a. Um, yeah. so, what do you call it? All sorts. <laughs> and you just get happy on stage. Yeah, no yeah. contempt from you. Yeah. No, no, not from me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's only he's only a man's he'll, he'll learn, he'll grow into it. He's only new to the I'm game. the annoying, happy one. <laughs> Me? Nah, Are you taking over my? Oh, you yeah. bastard! Fucking He's taking over my annoying happy <laughs> label. <laughs> oh, I think it's in the new. Come on, let's have a grin off. <laughs> let's <have> a smile <laughs> off. A grin off. I don't know. I think I will avoid <laughs> that answer. <laughs> Ask us some questions. Yeah, like yeah, 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 better yeah, better let you get on with it. Sorry yeah. for being silly. But my girlfriend's cat died recently. Good. I'm very sorry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, so it died last weekend, so I went out and bought her an identical one. She's gone absolutely off red at me. She's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with two dead cats? <laughs> oh. He also put Dizzy in his escort. She died. She died. <laughs> yeah. I fell one for it. I, can't I fell for it. About Halloween, which is. <laughs> which is. <laughs> Microphone go. The reason we're so happy is because Craig keeps us laughing. Yeah. He's the joke. Yeah. He's joke yeah. back. Life is bleak without without laughter. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. especially with the rather um, depressing T-shirt you're wearing from Conflict. Really? I don't know. It's. I don't think it's. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. It says everything that it needs to say. It says everything about the way that, that, it that we treat our uh, our furry brothers and sisters. I agree, and yeah. Yours says fuck on it. <laughs> yeah, um, but mine says fuck something very shitty. Yes, yes. That is just shitty. That's pretty shitty. Yeah. It's yeah. quite a lot of shit. It's yeah. shitty, yeah. 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 In our bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. 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 So. How long did it take till we started talking about shit? <laughs> <laughs> No, until you started talking about shit in barrels. <laughs> oh, that's why I blew. I can't say anymore. Um, <laughs> um, um, uh, no. Oh, they were split. Ah, oh, so we go. <laughs> Sorry, have we got to show our PC we are? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't all this well, let's be serious now. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Martin. <laughs> oh, yeah, Martin, yeah, I'm serious. You're the. I'm the father of the band. Line. You're the cat herder. I'm the da yeah, the herding cats. That's a good, good analogy. Good analogy. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, you guys have been going, in some form or another, since the 80s. Yep, 1984. Yep. And, uh oh. <laughs> and um, you've had quite a few lineup changes over the years. Yeah. But you've been relatively stable as of late. I guess so. This is probably the most stable lineup that we've had for a, for a good while. So, yeah. but uh, we've been through a few, 
And I think I'm the only original Strong member of the band. <laughs> uh, obviously, we've had a, quite a few Strong lineup Strong changes. Div's the latest member. He's been here just over a year now. Yeah. Year. No, two years. Two years. You've been in two years. I think that makes you two stable. Years, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, just yeah. over two years. Two years yeah. Steve's been, three years. Steve's been in about 15 years, is it? Yeah, 10, like that, yeah. So, and Craig, Craig was our second drummer. He, he joined in '88, and he's had a few stints in and out of the band over the time. So, so me and me and him have suffered it the longest, haven't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> suffered it the longest is is the right way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've got to but, suffer for your art, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, do you know what? If I could uh, do it all again, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but here you stand. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only because I'm kind, kind of contracted to do it. But nevertheless, it's still we'll good fun. Him if he doesn't. I still, yeah. th I still find it a bit surreal that we kind of drive for miles and miles and miles and we end up in this room full of people that we don't know. We just fucking shout and scream at them. Ah! Ah! Okay, right, we're going. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. They like, yeah, they, like, they enjoy it. They they applaud your screaming and yelling. Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, and rightfully so. We we are pretty good at what we do. To be fair, uh, yeah, I think we're probably one of the best bands in the world. <laughs> you are one of the most humble bands in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we didn't say we were the best. <laughs> no, just be. It's just such hum <laughs> so humble. I go back in the geek yeah. now. <laughs> but Sam, how long have you been in the band? Too fucking long. <laughs> no, I'm only really joking. No, uh, it was only for ten years. Like how long? Thirteen years? Oh, fuck no! Do you know what? I lost count. It's probably, like, ten, years. It's probably so yeah. it's ten or eleven years. Over 10 years. So yeah. our old bassist passed away unfortunately in 2008. Yeah. So and then Sam joined pretty well straight away. So um. actually, if you want to know the real story, yeah. they actually asked my boyfriend to, to fill in <laughs> for a tour, and like and, and like and so I'm on the phone going. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah. I'll get his number for you. Yeah, I'll ask him. Like, but by the way, in case he doesn't want to do it, um, I'm up for it. Like, you know. And as it happened, my boyfriend at the time couldn't do it, so I ended up jumping in. And here you are. And, I, and they've regretted it ever since. <laughs> Over ten years later, they're afraid to get rid of you. So. Yeah. <laughs> and um, anarcho punk. It's almost timeless because the things that you sang about in 84 have come back around and you need to sing about again lucky because we're still playing yeah, yeah. the song I don't think we were loud enough back then yeah no, a, that may be that there's a rich vein of, sort of kind of subject matter for us to sing about you know yeah, that's yeah. never that's never changed over the years and that's why one of the reasons why we survived because there's always something to wind us up and make us angry we want to sing about it so you know back in the early days we were probably a bit more proactive as well we used to get involved in things like unsabs and stop the city demonstrations that kind of stuff probably not so much now but we still think it's important you know we still think it's something to support and promote so yeah that's that's what we will always do that's what contempt's about for me anyway as a person that's sort of yeah really, you know I mean we all feel pretty much the same way we've all got different ideas about things but it's anarcho-punk, isn't it? No one agrees. Exactly. But the funny thing is, it just shows how things don't change in society, yeah. that like things are still relevant. It's like I listen to old Dave Kennedy stuff and what Jelly Biafra sings about back in like the 80s. It's yeah. still relevant now. It just shows that like, nothing... You just change the name and it's still the same. Yeah, things don't change yep. when it comes to like, politics and... Still bastards. Yeah. Exactly. I cannot agree enough on that one. Yeah. And we still want death, uh, convenience or death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. As long as we're not <laughs> Winnebago <laughs> warriors. I'd like there to be a bit of a delay between the convenience part and the dead bit. Yeah. Well, it was an and or question, so yeah. give me convenience or give me death. Yeah. You never Tell with Anaco punks, though. Yeah. True, yeah. true. They may say, oh, you get both. Yeah. Give me vodka or give me death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't give him vodka though. Uh oh, what happens when you get vodka? I can't play. <laughs> no vodka for you until after the set. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's more for you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, vodka. It's a very nice mixture. 
It's a fruit. It's actually good for you because it's like got high juice in, which is like 50% fruit and <laughs> the rest water and sugar. Yeah, well, I'm that high juice. Oh, yeah. I, I could taste the high juice. It's very high juicy. <laughs> oh, it doesn't make you very high. Give it a minute, you'll be like, fuck you now. <laughs> I may cause it unless you have gum fuck over your teeth. Yeah, I can, can feel my tonsils going. <laughs> guys going anything new happening in the world of contempt we're supposed to be yeah we're supposed to be doing new things we're very you know we're very good at it <laughs> but we're very very slowly inching our way towards doing another album um writing stuff i've got some new tunes as well oh we can but yeah um yeah yeah that's the next thing that's, our, that's our plan way, so. do, yeah so that's one of the problems is that band sort of lives i mean steve lives in norwich and we three of us live in Telford and Sam lives in Birmingham, so we're yeah. a bit, a bit sort of split up around the country. I do really, a very so. fast motorbike. So, <laughs> so like writing and recording new stuff takes time, basically. So, but that's the plan is to get something yeah. new out as soon as possible, really. So, once a decade, a new well, album. And Sam, I know that you play in a couple of other bands. Yeah, you know, you I'm play a bit of a band slag. Yeah, well, you're in Bustle Heathens with Jock from GBH. Yeah. And I can't remember the name of your other band. I've seen you. Oh, yeah, of I course. I a clue. A little clue's <laughs> right on the shirt. I happened to wear this T-shirt because it was the only clean... No, no, we are not called tits, thank you very much. <laughs> Just happened to be the only clean T-shirt I had, you know, no self-promotion or anything. Like, I didn't even know I was getting interviewed, honest. <laughs> <laughs> How about any of the rest of you? Are you in other bands that are currently working? We've, we've done odd bits before. Me and Craig have been had a couple of side projects, but there's nothing at the moment. You're in Indecent Assault at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, with IA, yeah. So. yeah. 
no longer indecent assault, are we? No, no, IA, it is completely IA now. IA, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, you should say, you'd be able to say it better because you've got to probably have, go and say, oh, yeah, you need to. The you got to say, oh, oh, yeah, you need to. Because he's yeah. such a yam yam, too. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the two of them yeah. together, it's. It's like Grant and Phil. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. The yam yam version. <laughs> oh, no. I say, I've got, I, need, I need to plug another band I mean, otherwise, I'll get a right bollocking. Ten bags. Oh, we're, okay. we're, we're like, um, Punky left-wing political punk folk band. <laughs> I've heard of you. <laughs> Have you? I haven't really? seen you yet. But Ni- I've heard of you. Niall would kill me if I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one who's always in a band. You're in two. The rest of you just kind of dabble here and there. Yeah, yeah, I, should yeah, mention, yeah. I should mention, shouldn't I? I'm in a band with my ten-year-old daughter. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, tell us about that. Please. Um, she plays flute rather spectacularly. And I just I, I accompany her on guitar, and it's just folk music. But you know, yeah. I love it. Ten year. So you're called what? Catkin. 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 Yeah. And uh, yeah, I dabble with a few. We got a few things going. I live in Norwich, and I've got a little thing, a couple of things going on there. But um, that's mainly just for charity stuff that we do gigs for, like local stuff. Um, friend of mine, Sue from PMT, she does. Um, Mind the Gap, which is, uh, it's, it's, um, it's this, uh, I don't know what to call it really, but they, they do a music for uh, people with mental health problems because getting people together who can be quite introverted and... Uh, and it's a way to open them up. And it opens them up and they get them out playing music. So um, we've, got, we've got a punk rock all-star group from Norwich that we've been doing stuff with to raise money for Mind the Gap as well. So, because mental health is obviously suffering at the hands of the Tories, you know, strangely enough. Imagine that. While we're on the subject of recurring themes, you know, stripping away uh, money from people that need it and lining their own pockets. You know. Been going on for a while now, hasn't it? Just yeah, a tad. So, yeah. but that's where people punk fucking has to step in and sort of take over, and where people everywhere really have to get together and organise and start looking after each other because it's not going to get any better after Brexit, is it? God, oh, don't get me started on Brexit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah things aren't going to get any better, and we do have to look after each other. And you know, I mean, I think that's a, a lot of what contempt's been about over yeah. the years as well. Is is you know and what anarchy to, you know anarchism is about to me personally is about stepping up and looking after each other yeah. and creating alternatives where we don't have to rely on the system we don't have to rely on the state because oh, we can't yeah yeah i mean yeah the, the tories are just they're just not doing anything to supply people with weed you know? <laughs> No. Well, not, not, not people we know, I mean, I'm sure they've all got drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they've all got their stashes. Okay, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just about people working together and, you know, not having to rely on a system that has been proven time and time again. You can't rely on anyway, so... Very true on that. I'm talking else we were involved in. We helped run a music project in Telford as well, and it's a way of encouraging sort of local bands and musicians to get together and uh, giving them a place to go and rehearse on a very sort of reasonable rate. Because oh. the, the project has had a long standing history with uh, punk rock itself. It was uh, when we were kids, we used to go there, unemployed youths, in the, in the, eight, in the 80s, and it was a uh, home to a very early punk fanzine yeah, called, hot, called right. Gutter Snipe back in the day, which is quite a well known fanzine back in the late 70s early 80s so it's had a long-standing relationship with punk and it's something we've kept going it used to be supported by the council but they cut the funding on it so we've just kept the place so going. you guys picked up the yeah. uh, we took on set up a man martin's a hero Ma- martin is a punk rock musical hero yeah I, uh, I'm agreeing on that yeah. now. Sorry. Yeah. So, so that's something else we do in our in our sort of spare time, just to help kick, help the support the music scene in in the area. So, you know, so there's other things, not just playing in the band, but we try and get involved in other community projects as well. So, you know. That's, you that's practice it. what you preach. Well, I hope so. We could do a lot more probably, but, you know, families, jobs. I was going to say, who gets, has the time? It's in the way, but, yeah. you know, we, we certainly support sort of that kind of direct action. I mean, that's, yeah. Steve wrote a song about direct action. It's, it is very important to us that yeah. that carries on and people do fight, stand up and fight for what they believe. And There's all sorts of different ways of taking direct action anyway, you know. It's, it's not always about being out 
doing stuff you know that's obvious and seen by people it's about just choices you make yeah. in your everyday like life the right choice absolutely it's down to like where you spend your money and how you spend your money and and your interactions with people and just being true and honest with people and with yourself mm -hmm. you know and i think that's where a lot of people fall down is they can't be honest with themselves sometimes you know and yeah i think we do try and practice what we preach we certainly believe in it what yeah. we're seeing about none of us are perfect and you yeah. know but you know we try and try and do what we think's right i suppose without trying to sound too <laughs> Hey, look at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and I think that is perfect. And on that note, I want to thank you guys so much yeah, for speaking with us. Thank you. Cheers. Looking thank forward you. to seeing you all on stage again. And thanks again. Well, thank you. Thing. Fuck cancer. Agreed. Thanks, Shelley. Thanks, Andy. Nice yeah, one. Thank, thank you, you guys. Cheers. People should not be afraid of their governments. <laughs>